Hello there, and uh, w welcome back. Um, we had a, someone comment and ask about uh, doing shadows at an angle. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I've created uh, our player before, um, had the shadows straight up and down. Um, what we're going to do now is show how to do, do an angle and then apply that to all the objects within, within our game. So let's get started. The, the boy character, um, typically what we used before, um, was just a draw, like an, ex an extra draw um, that would go straight down. What we're going to do in this case is create a, a, a shader. Um, this way we can use one of the, the skew draw function. Um, so for first let's look at uh, what our shader is. Uh, our shader is really simple. It's going to basically be passed in color and with an alpha and we're going to apply that uh, to the, the sprite and basically overwrite um, with the color we use in the alpha. That way we can make it a light uh, shadow or a dark shadow. And that the other downside to not using this method, um, you would have to create a, a shadow of, of every uh, character that that you would have. So what we're going to do is just do the skew method. So I've created a shadow object, and what it does is it uses several variables: uh, the shadow angle, the shadow height, the shadow alpha, and whether the shadow is on or not. Um, this is it's going to pass in create use the a parameter and pass in this parameter, um, the new color. Uh, and so the shader object allows sets allows us to set um, the color that we're going to draw, and in our draw event, we're going to determine whether we're we're going to have a shadow, and then um, we're going to do like a half width. So this is really just the skew from one side to the other, one way to the right or one way to the left, depending on how we want to do that. And this is a shadow offset. Um, and and we're, we're getting this half uh, width because we're going to be drawing the four corners. So we need to know how far over one side or the other that we're actually going to draw, um, draw our sprite. We have this shadow offset, which is what we determined from the angle. So this is going to be uh, if we draw four corners, it'll be the upper left, upper right, lower right, lower left. And so we want to have two of those fixed in one location, and then the other two where they're going to shift them over. So it'll be more of a triangle. Uh, I guess a uh, rhombus would be the typical term for it. So we're going to call our shader. Um, we're going to pass it a color. Since we've just got one one parameter that we're we're going to pass it, uh, we're going to pass it the uh, the color zero 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 for black, and then we're going to create an alpha, pass in the alpha. Um, then we're going to draw the four corners. So this will be the upper left, the upper right. I think that's right. Uh, why? So no, this is actually the the lower the lower portion because we're going further down. So we're going to go. This is the the bottom corner. So we're but we're just drawing them in in order, um, the four corners around, and then this way we're shifting, um, one the bottom corner one way right or left, um, but those are the four corners. The reason why we're doing, um. See what else we got. Oh, and we and for this particular run for shadow, we're using the image scale, um, making sure we have it correct with the um, image scale of our sprite. When uh, our normal our, our character that when he walks, we he flips his image scale, um, that way he flips right or left, and so we're going to take that into account to to add the shadow to it, and that's the shadow we add. We go to our player, um, 
we added the shadow to the parent. We took a lot, took out a lot of the the different um, additional drawing, and really we're just drawing the sprites here. But this um, uh, shadow is drawing the other one, and I've added the draw event at um, do a draw begin. So this will be drawn first, and then the arm wing will have the draw. One of the important things to always remember when we do a parent is make sure you call the parent event uh, and make sure all the variables get set, otherwise you'll get an error. So now let's add, before we didn't have the tr event on the tree, so we're going to add it, add objects to the tree, add it to the tree. So this parent, this object has a parent of object environment. So we're going to add it to the environment. Um, the first thing we see here is there's no parent. So we're going to add, and for these I'm going to use a shadow fix, and I'll, I'll show you those in a second. So shadow fixed. And then uh, in the control, we're going to call the parent. This way, we, we set, set all the variables we need for our fixed shadow and then draw the shadow. And then that will actually is really all we need to do for that object. Yeah, there, there we've added the shadows to our tree so we can walk through the shadow and add it. Um, so that's really all, all we really need to do to get the, the shadow working. Uh, so let's add it to the other objects as well. Um, we had a torch remote uh, which has an object of an action and then our switch is a height. I already added it uh, with a highlight shadow here. Um, what we did was add a fixed shadow called the parent and add that. So in, the, in this, because oh, I'll have to undo that. So we'll add that back in there. So in the, in the torch, we will take the act, uh, look at the action again, and add that in. So find the action. We're going to add a, a fixed shadow, and then make sure we once again add in the parent here. And the highlight. Make sure this doesn't. There's an action item. Let's try deleted simulation tag. Yeah, so there we've added the, the sh our light shadow. You can see it because we're still drawing our old shadow. So we'll need to take that away. Um, we've got a shadow over here with our uh, with our other objects. Um, we need to fix that. And one of the other things we had done, what I had done was actually I showed you the shadow and uh, we made these as global variables and that way we can create a controller that for like a time of day um, event that goes across one way th uh, throughout the day, we can change the direction. So this con a controller could change how, how dark the shadows are and what the angle is. So we can actually flip um, the angle of the angle. I'm going to go back to the, the fixed shadow. Um, when, when the image alpha isn't going to change, what we can do is just take, um, calculate all this to begin with, 
instead of having to calculate it on the fly every time. Um, and this will just uh, improve the, the speed a little bit. So we're going to calculate all of our, our, our locations and then we're going to draw it um, here uh, in order to um, improve, reduce the number of, uh, so like this one we don't actually need um, we don't need uh, the bar. We don't need to do these calculations every time on the fly and then do all these additional math calculations. We can just uh, do that quickly with uh, beforehand. So let's go to back to our torch and remove the shadow it's already drawn. So here we, we've uh, changed uh, the direction of the shadows. Our character has a different shadow. Um, the only thing I need to do is fix this and then we'll show you how it still, it still will take effect. So I'm going to draw, draw event or highlight shader is not. Actually what we're going to do is uh, do it correctly here. Our highlight will just add the shadow here. Uh, make sure we call the parent. And then our switches. We'll just use the highlight. So there we can uh, turn the torches on. There's a little bit of a flicker. Um, there. And that's how you do um, an angled uh, shadow. So uh, leave in comments uh, anything you might want to see. Um, until next time, good luck coding.